All righty. Hi, students. I'm excited for you. You're going to be creating your charms uh, for your charm project. And this video is going to show you how to uh, get started with a simple charm, how to check its volume to make sure you're under the limit, how to get the words take IED embossed into it, and how to make a multi-view drawing, okay? Um, or at least we'll get those first things, first three things done. So um, yeah, you know for step three, develop concept or develop a solution, depending on what you called it, you have to make a multi-view drawing. Well, I would encourage you to do that directly in your notebook by hand for this project, uh, because we're still gaining the skills electronically here. Um, however, if you wanna do it uh, electronically, you need to make your part first, and everyone's gonna have to make the part anyway. So we're gonna get into that, so um, you can make your part to make this drawing. You'll see over here, I've already got a, a folder created for this project, it's 126 Charm Project. So I'm gonna go in there, make a, a project folder if you need to, um, and then we're gonna make a new file. And as we do with any sketch, we'll create sketch. And I'm just going to show you how to make a simple charm here. All right. I'm going to use this plane because I'm imagining it kind of going sideways. Uh, I just want to do like a coin. All right. So um, I'm going to take a center diameter circle. And um, I've played with this a little bit already. Um, so I'm going to make it 1.8 inches in diameter. All right. Uh, then I'm going to finish the sketch. Click extrude. And I'm gonna bring it, um, sure, we can go that way a little bit. Uh, and I'm gonna make that go 0 0.2 inches back. All right, so a fifth of an inch. Enter. And I'm gonna check to make sure this is under that 0.5 inches cubed of material limit. All right, you might be wondering, how do we check that? This is how you do it. You come over here to bodies. All right, you, you click on body one. So right click uh, or control click with your MacBooks. Then you do uh, properties. All right, and it shows right here, the volume is 0 0.509 inches cubed. Ooh, a little larger than my limit. However, I know I'm gonna have to put a hole in here and extrude some words into it. So I think we're gonna be okay when we finish. All right, so I'm gonna click okay for now. Um, so we've started our object. Um, we've checked its volume. All right, you now know how to do that using body, uh, body one, right click properties. All right, and then it shows you the volume. Uh, now we need to figure out how to extrude or emboss the words take IED into this object. All right, so I'm going to, um, let's do new sketch on here. So I, I did a right click or control click with the MacBook, create sketch, and right on here, I want to put some font, all right? Um, so I'm gonna go to text. Uh, I can position it kind of later the way I want, but sure, we'll start there, and we're gonna do, uh, like I have to do for the project, our company name, take, I-E-D, exclamation point, all bold, has to be that. So um, we may need to double check this. Uh, let me see if I can pause here to do that. Uh, nope, looks like I cannot pause and find that. Um, but the height needs to be at least a certain size. All right, uh, maybe I'll put that in the comments later. And um, I think it was more like, it was probably closer to this. Uh, it may have even been 0.24 inches. All right. Um, and okay, the rest, I wanted it to be bold, all right? Because if it's not bold, sometimes the letters are too small to, to like read well. Bold helps them be a little bigger. Um, we can change the font. Um, also, I see this is gonna run off my coin. So let me bring it more like here. All right, that's still a little large. Um, and I think we could go down to like 0.24. So let's say that, perfect, okay? And then I'm just gonna click, okay, finish sketch. And this is how you would emboss it, right? Uh, we would go to extrude, all right? We wanna select just the words there, all right? Um, so I might need, so it's got two selected. So let me undo those. Let me try to get just the words, just the letters. All right, and I'm going to extrude this direction. Uh, so it's gonna be called a cut, extrude cut. And um, I specify how deep it has to be extruded also. I'll try to put that number on this video description as well. But let's say um, it has to be something like, I think it was like 16. One, two, five. Say okay. And there we have it. Got them in. Uh, you probably don't want them to go all the way through because then they'll look backwards on this side. Uh, but finally, we would have to put a hole in here. So I could do another right click, uh, create sketch, and we can make a hole by going to uh, the hole or doing a circle and extrude cutting it through. All right. So make sure it's the right size. I think it's uh, one eighth of an inch.